Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing these really bad fake human races. In actuality, they're not that bad, but they do have a lot of flaws. Before I start, I really want to thank to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. You guys mean a lot to me and also you guys motivate me to make more videos, so thank you. So let's start off with the box. The, the box came not as damaged as I thought it would, but it does have two really big flaws, which is the label. The label is completely off, like completely off, and it has this random stick right here that I don't know why it came with it. And also inside, it has the same exact paper and it has some shoelaces. If this box didn't have those two mistakes in the labels, um, this, bo this box would be exactly like the same box, but it did have this big mistake. Now to look at the shoes, to be honest, these shoes aren't completely that bad. I've seen worse fakes out there, like some fakes have the um, human race spelled out and some fakes even have black letters, uh, that's a really bad fake. Also, other fakes have like really really bad boost. But at least these these have actual boost. The first flaw that I saw in the shoe was the shape of the shoe. So you can see on this left shoe, there's bumps right here, and it looks really really bad. On the right um, shoe, it actually looks pretty good, and that's how it's supposed to be. But as you can see, this one looks awful. Another clear sign that these are fake is that on the boost. It's really shiny and on the real pair, it's supposed to be more defined. Like the boost is noticeable. Like the bumps on the boost are supposed to be more no noticeable. And this is smooth. It's not supposed to be like that. Another thing that I noticed, but I'm not sure if it's just me or that the pictures I see online are different, but I think that the red on this shoe is a lot darker than on the real pairs i believe that on this shoe it's supposed to be lighter and i do know that on the back this leather tab is supposed to be sh like lighter and on this one it's totally darker and it's really noticeable another big flaw that i noticed was that on this r the little circle right here or the little red spot is supposed to be way bigger this one's really small and that's a clear a big giveaway but for some reason i believe that on the left pair they actually did really good like i said the shape is how it's supposed to be and the lettering is a little bit off centered but it's straight how it's supposed to be another thing i noticed is that it has a huge glue stain right there on the insole, it has a clear giveaway that this is a fake. It says sports instead of Adidas. It's supposed to say Adidas. And right there it says sports. And also around right here, it's supposed to be a dark color instead of this white color. So this concludes my video. I did get these shoes off of DHgate like all the other shoes and other stuff I reviewed on my channel. But I spent $90 on these and it kind of sucks because I expected more. And for $90, they weren't worth its money. But to be honest, they are good shoes. I put them on and they feel pretty good. The boost feels pretty good too. But if I would have to rate these shoes, I'd probably rate them a 6 out of 10. Because it does have a lot of flaws. And um, for $90, you would, expect, like, you would expect to get something pretty good. But these aren't as good as I thought. If you did like this video or if you found it helpful, please like and subscribe. Like I said, I really appreciate it and it really motivates me when I see people subscribing. And well, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.